Okay, we are back with another reaction video. And today we are talking about the YNW Melly trial, day 10. Uh, the specialist is on stand. And um, I watched most of it. I, I, I ain't gonna play the whole video because it's, one, is too long. But we just gonna get straight to the highlights. So basically what happened so far is the expert came on the stand. He pretty much broke down how the shooting happened. He said from the projectiles of the bullets, pretty much um, the driver, the passenger, Melly was Melly. So mind you, we in the car, right? Driver side, passenger side, the rear passenger, driver side, the rear, uh, the rear uh, passenger, back side, right? So he said, if you look up the projection of the bullets, that whoever was in the rear, the rear left side of the car, right? The projectile of the bullet, the person had to be asleep. So mind you, I'm in the front passenger side, the person in the back, the back left driver, rear side. He said the bullet would have had to come through the back and out the front. From doing, and he and he's he's an expert. He's been doing this for a while. Well, this is really going some. Or some CIA law and order type stuff. It's, it's crazy. Like you, you have to go in and really deep on how he breaks it down. So he said the projectile for the bullets will go in and out. And based off all the research that he has done over the years, the projectile of the bullets, there's no way it could be a, a drive-by. And said the, the, the shooting would actually have to come from inside the vehicle because of the close range of the bullets. Now, also, I didn't know they said from the projectile from when the person got, when he got shot, gun residue wouldn't be much on the person who shot the bullet because the head rest will block most of it, but blood and residue would be on the person who was driving, and it was on the person that was driving. He, felt, he later found out during the case. Now, he's, right now, he's talking about breaking down who actually pulled the trigger because the person would come from the back. Now... If you know, they're saying Melly was sitting in the back, the back, uh, the back left, the back left rear of the driver's side. So right now he's breaking down who, based off his expertise, who could have pulled the trigger. I'm not going to lie. After watching all this, Melly did it. Melly, it's like, there's no way. There's no way that like he came with us on the stand today. Closed casket. I think it's a closed casket today with this. I don't see how you can wiggle out this. And then he also did the projectiles of the bullets. And it was like, there's no way it could have been a drive-by. From the direction and the angles of the bullets, everything came from inside the vehicle. This is crazy. This is... <laughs> this is crazy. And I like Melly music. I like artists as in music. What they do outside of that, like, I just care about the music. Some people... They say people who people talk about their personality is trash and they do uh, messed up stuff behind the scenes. I just go off of what you put out there, your music. And I like people as an artist at their music. Now, when it comes to their personal and stuff like that, that's beyond me. Like, this is this is crazy. You got to listen to this. crazy. We're going to get to the point. For both, if he were to make both shots of those two individuals, there would be a substantial amount of blood on his seat. Now, speaking about the rear passenger, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury or identify who was in that seat? Oh, my bad. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go up a little bit. The, due to the headliner being there, I mean, I'm sorry, the head rest, rest being there, that, that all puts it all in line with the backseat driver passenger. Okay. And he's talking about like the projectiles of the bullet, the gum residue, the shots in the angle, all points to the back left driver's side passenger or who actually will pull the trigger based off all his research that he has done. In terms of the angle for the driver to get the shot on Christopher Collins, is that possible? No. Christopher, Christopher Collins is his, uh, his other best friend. He was the driver of the car. So Christopher Collins was the driver of the car. You got the the passenger was his other friend. His other friend was in the back seat with him, and Melly was behind the driver. That's how everything. That's how. That's what he's talking about right now. So he's he's talking about if 
if it was the driver that got the shots off and that's what he's at right now just for anybody who's who's like confused and i hope i'm explaining that well enough for you to understand because the the injury to christopher thomas's cheek is an exact circle and if Chris, uh, if Cortland Henry is pointing back from the driver's seat to the direction of the position of Christopher Thomas, you would expect to see a leading edge uh, injury to his cheek instead of a per perfectly circum uh, circle on his uh, on his cheek. On top of it, you would see more blood on the seat that Cortland Henry was sitting in for both. If he were to make both shots of those two individuals, there would be a substantial amount of blood on his seat. Now, speaking about the rear passenger, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury or identify who was in that seat? The rear passenger? Yes. Driver's side? Yes. I was advised that it was yeah, without going into that in terms of what you were advised. Can you say based on your own personal knowledge who was sitting in that seat at the time of this homicide? That would be Mr. Demens. Okay. That's that's Melly. I think it's over. I think I think it's closed case. I think it's over. Right there. How can you say that? Can we approach your Right when he said that, the fence team can we approach? It's crazy. Now they put the they're gonna be putting white noise in because they're approaching and talking to the judge, so we can't hear it. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, and this is still live. And I don't know if it's the last day or not. Hey y'all. Uh... That shot. Uh, here we go. Whenever they do the sidebar with the judge, we can't hear nothing that's going on. Like the jury people can't even hear because they're supposed to be close talking to the judge. Did you know there was an objection to the last uh, question and answer? I sustained it in order to disregard the last question and answer. Constantly, the last question and answer. So, Sergeant Williams, can you give an area of the car with which the shots emanated from? Yes. And could you describe to the ladies and the jury what area of the car? Did the shots that killed Anthony Williams emanate from? From the, the driver's side back seat. As to the shot that killed Christopher Thomas, where did that shot emanate from? Driver's side back seat. Oh. The <laughs> only person who was sitting in the driver's side back seat was Melly. Is it possible for there to have been two shooters inside that car? No. Why not? There is no time. So explain what that means. So Mr. Williams was not even aware he was about to be shot. When Mr. Williams was shot, Mr. Thomas puts up his hands and is shot and then is shot again. Okay. I, I, there's no time for anybody to switch a firearm if there were. Uh, I believe one of those individuals would be alive. There's no time to switch. It was a very, uh, a, a rather rapid event of uh, firing. Oh. Can you say the length of time between the fatal shots and then the staged drive-by shots later on? It was enough time for the, for the heart to stop beating, for there to be no circulation, Due to the wounds that I examined from the medical examiner's office, none of the wounds uh, have any blood in, blood in them, which tells me that they're all anti-mortem wounds. So they're, uh, the time was long enough for the heart to stop beating. Okay. Is there 
scientific or medical testing to recreate that in any way, shape, or form? Yes, it's it's science, it's knowledge. It's the uh, I'm sure the medical examiner could say the same thing. So in terms of it's nothing that can be recreated with a black human. Correct. In terms of the number of shots, you said 17 outside the car. How many rounds were fired inside of the car? Three. And can you exclude the shots to the head for Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas as coming from outside of the car? Yes. How can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of this jury that, for example, shot that was marked as H in the here, let's go to this is crazy. Six seven five five. How can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury that shot H is not the one that wound up in the face of Mr. Thomas? Because Mr. Thomas is already uh, crumpling at this point, and he is actually out of the, he's in the clear, if you will, of, of uh, site H. How can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury that site H is not the shot to the back of the head of Anthony Williams? Because site H continues and strikes Anthony Williams in the shoulder. In terms of site K, the one that goes completely across the car. How can you tell that no one was sitting in the rear driver's side seat when that bullet came through the car? It would have hit their legs. Was there any sign of blood or anything on that seat? There were signs of blood on the seat, yes. Can you explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what is Blue Star? You've talked about it a little bit. Blue Star is a chemical that uh, is used in forensics. It's very similar to what most people know as luminol. What's the difference between the two? Luminol is a very caustic chemical, and it's... I feel like I'm watching the episode of Law & Order. This is crazy. This is crazy. Damn, this is crazy. It's not really healthy to use. It's effective, but it's not really healthy to use. This is like, yo, he's saying they, they grew up together. This was their best friends to kill both of them. This is an expert. This is the expert analysis, and he's on the stand breaking down everything that points to the person who shot it was inside the car, and it couldn't have been the driver. If, if it couldn't have been the driver, you got the two in the passenger side, and then the passenger side rear on the right side. Only person left in the car was Melly, and Melly got out the car, and he got picked up for somebody else. It's a closed casket. Damn. Damn. I hope my 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 breakdown, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying, how crazy this is. It was a slim, I had a slim thing. I was like, uh, I don't know. But then watching it, I just wanted to I wanted to watch this try to see how it would play out to see is it any way he could beat this, but it's over. In my opinion, I think it's I think it's over. He did it. He did it. Allegedly, I don't know if I allegedly. I don't want to get clipped. I don't want page to get clipped. I, you know, you never know nowadays. You feel me? But damn, and you could tell he. This is what he do. He not looking at no notes. He just going off straight. Don't looking at pictures because he putting up the pictures that he's on his computers that he's looking at. He going to show up the dome. He studied. This is the someone who love their job and do what they do. Damn. Blue Star accomplishes the same thing. Uh, it still detects blood diluted up to 100,000 times, um, and it's not caustic. Oh. So it's attracted luminol and uh, and blue star. They're both attracted to the hemi group of blood, uh, primarily iron, and it will detect trace amounts of blood even after it's been washed. So if you have blood on your shirt, and you throw it in the wash, um, throw it in the dryer, and then hand it over to me. I'm gonna tell you to put it back in the wash because there's blood on it still. Okay, what if it's been 
five years. You'll still get that result. Okay, and what type of result are we looking for? For we're looking for blood. And so what does it look like if there is blood? So if there is blood, and that's the other difference between no, no. and blue star. With luminol, the illumination of the, the luminescence of the blood, the hemi group, is not as bright and it is not as lasting. So you have to be very quick with your photograph in order to get it. With Blue Star, it is very bright and it's. I'm going to fast for a little so bit. It's long enough but it's still for us going on to, to see if anything. The arm does not have to be fully extended in order to fire the firearm. Okay. It's a closed casket. Um, this image right here. Let me see if I can if I can steal this image real quick. If I can steal this. I can steal this image, all right. That right there, him, that's supposed to be Melly. The two people was right there, the driver. No way the driver can do it because it's, no, it's not that much blood even on his side. So in the, uh, the gum residue, what I was talking about earlier, um, he couldn't get on Melly that much because of the, the headrest. So he back here shot the. That's crazy. Not have to be fully extended in order to fire the firearm. Okay. That's crazy. So when, like I said earlier, he said the bullet wound entered from the back and went out, went out from the front, and he must have been chilling just like that, like just exactly how I explained earlier. And went out the front. That's how you could tell there was the entry room, like where it could and that came from. And Melly was sitting on that side. This is this is uh this is um damn. He did it. Is the it's it's a it's over. He he going down I, now now is he gonna get the the question is now for me is is he gonna get the death penalty penalty? Are they gonna sit this in the death? Because Florida is different. Um, and the the jury, I, I don't know if it's the jury got a vote on there or the judge. I think it's the jury got a vote. It was like a vote. Uh, like I get four out of whatever the case is. Now it's just about is he going to get the, is he going to get um sentenced to death because it's over for me. Right here, it's done. The expert been on the stand for a minute. Like he been on the stand from for damn near how long has it been going on? Five six hours. Breaking this down. You ain't you man. Man oh man. And if if you would have seen like day two, day three of the trial, when mom deuce would understand, at that point in time I was like, yo, he did he did it. He did he had something to do with it. Because the mom deuce had got on the stand and um and the prosecutor had brought up text messages from the mom Instagram saying, Yo, I quit my job, Melly promised to pay for all my bills, da 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 da. And she was saying, like, when the cops come, I call me Miss Snitch Bitch because I'm going to tell the cops everything. But the jury didn't see that. We seen it. And the prosecutor couldn't present a good enough case to the judge to, uh, to allow that to be used in court. So the judge threw that out. He said, if you can't connect this in no way, you got to throw that out. Because she said, no, she don't remember anything. She she It seemed like, allegedly, she got paid off. Because how can you not find your daughter? Nobody knows where the daughter's at. Her daughter, the boy, the girlfriend of the uh, y, M y and W Melly at the time, nobody knows where she's at. Nobody knows where she's at. That's your daughter. You don't know where your daughter's at. You're not worried or nothing. You're not. You, she. You don't know where. You're, that's her daughter. She, nobody knows where she's at. To get her to court, they've been looking for her. She went to the stand, said she don't remember nothing. She don't know. She don't know her daughter's number. She don't know nothing. She don't dare play stupid. And she she got out the courtroom quick but we the jury didn't see that we seen it and then when that happened i was like oh it's gonna get spicy and today day, day 10 it's spicy i think it's a wrap 
Let me know what you guys think. Um, please tell me that I break that down correctly. Um, um, yeah, that's my. It's really my first time being on YouTube. Really trying to do a live. Not really live. I'm doing it live right now. Let me know if my breakdown analysis was good enough. And um, like, share, subscribe, and we out. Thank you.